Okay, so let's check out the global section. First, I'm going to change the waveform to saw. Let's bring the release down. Okay, so first we have the volume. This is the overall volume, default by uh, 2 minus 9 dB, just to give you more headroom. <clears throat> you can change it uh, up to 0 or just minus infinite. Here we can decide the amount of voices we can play, default to 8, so you can up up, play up to 8 uh, notes. You can put it on 2 if you want. As you can see every time the last one uh, is being uh, cancelled. And we can switch it to also mono, so you can only play one note at a time. In mono mode, you can also add some glide between the notes. Uh, but unfortunately, right now, it's not possible in poly. The unison section allows you to add some unison to the voices, <clears throat> which is really great. So by none, no, no unison. Uh, classic unison is going to decide um, how much voices you, wa you want and how much detune is there between the different voices. Let's bring it down. Very cool. Uh, shimmer is similar to classic where it's going to detune between the different voices, but it's going to jitter the tuning. Um, so it's kind of giving us a shimmer effect, kind of a reverb-like effect. And there's going to be a slight amount of a um, wavetable position spread between the voices just for extra thickness. So similar, just more uh, reverb-like. Noise is exactly like shimmer, but the um, pitches are jittered in a very, very fast rate, giving us kind of a noise effect. We have phase sync, which is exactly like classic. The voices will be detuned from each other, but all the voices will start at the same phase point. So it gives us this type of kind of a laser-ish type of effect in the beginning. Also very cool for like wrist basses. If you go down there. Uh, position spread, all the voices will be uh, the wavetable position will be spread between all the different voices and small amount of detune like in the classic mode will be applied for extra thickness so we bring it up to 100 we can hear a mix of square waves and saw waves and uh, triangle because it's uh, spread in the wavetable and lastly we have the random note which will detune and we'll do wavetable position spread, so uh, each voice will be slightly detuned and slightly different waveform. Nice, so that's the global section, uh, very useful, especially the unison, finally we don't have to do it manually with the operator or analog, we have a synth that is capable to do it built in. Uh, and that's it, that's the seven part series uh, about a wavetable, hope you like it, hit us up with any questions, We'll try to release more videos uh, about specific sounds and how to make them. If you have any requests, please let us know. And that's it. We'll catch you next time.